Hello and welcome back, I'm Mike. And this is Aiden. And we have something a little different today. We are doing a list video. A Ten, band list. A band list video, but things we would take off the band list. Mm -hmm. I say things we, it's definitely you. This is very much your, I mean, I've seen this list. This is... He's like, put put the hate on me already. It's just like, just... <laughs> just stare, pulling away from the video. I was so quiet. Isn't it? Yeah, so we have a... It's not a top ten as such, but it's ten cards we, in inverted commas, uh, would remove from the ban list. So, yeah, we remove, obviously, not for the sake of favouritism, although some cards, are, I feel, I've used them before, they were my favourites, but also I think you could bring them back and I don't think they would impact the game much, but... I think they might add more variety back to the game, which I think it definitely needs right now. Right. I think we start with the first one because it's the most obvious, because it's coming anyways, and that's Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. Yeah, I mean... It's, it's a jump promo. And, and it's the Arata getting the errata, is, isn't it? It's happening, isn't it? You might right as well at the just end like say it's coming off, because it is. just says at the end there was a... You cannot activate other cards or effects during the turn you activate this card's effect. So... Yeah. I think even if it came back without the errata, I don't think it would be... Well, I, uh, it's one of those hard it's ones. It's a tough I think one, isn't it? How it would evolve. People would probably find combos around like FTKs with it and stuff, but with the errata, I think they've completely killed the card. <laughs> I, think I, I think that's like the safety guarantee one. Like we start off like, yep, strong, yep. It's a, it's a card everyone wanted, but it's changed to the point it's a bit... A lot weaker in comparison to what it was. It'll see play probably for nostalgia regions. Yeah. And that's probably it, yeah. in all honesty. <laughs> right. So, next one. Tribe Infecting Virus. Yeah, I mean, this this card, I, I used to use this, obviously, oh, we're talking about 10 years ago, maybe more now in the game, but in all honesty, it didn't really do much. Well, that's actually a lie. It did do a lot back then, but, I mean, if you look at the game now, I mean, what really would Tribe Infecting Virus bring to the table? I mean, yeah, discard a card, declare a type, destroy all monsters. But we have Ragaki back, so it's kind of like, why would you waste a normal summon or a card to special summon this card just to do what Ragaki does? But obviously Ragaki is a lot better. It's kind of like one of those things. Now, would you have it limited still? I'd have it limited because, like, test the waters because, you know, decks, there's, there's things out there we might think of that, people could combine with these things to make them completely broken but that's why I think most of the cards we would put on here we'd bring back to one because it's just you want to test how the format would would work with them at one but I definitely think tribe infecting virus you know is not going to make any mega impacts and it, it probably wouldn't even get run in all honesty unless it's some sort of pure water sort of variant deck but no, I find was, a lot of those pretty good okay so, after that we have Shurit, Strategist of the Necros. So, I used to play Necros, obviously, not physically in real life, because I could never <laughs> afford the cards when they came out. But I knew of them, and I played against them. Um, yeah, they were broken, and in some cases in today's game, they can still do stuff. I mean, a lot of their, their cards are limited, so that really hurt the deck to start with. I mean, Shurit is, is a powerful card for the archetype, but... With rituals getting, you know, support with Savage Strike, and obviously you recently had the Nephthys stuff as well. So yeah. rituals are, you know, definitely getting a boost. I think Shurit could definitely come back to at least one. As I said, test the waters for format, see how Necrosses work. I mean, Necros doesn't do much now at all anyway. So um, yeah, you're seeing the OCG like they have them back or something. Was it? I'm not was sure it Necros? that one. I was said it no, no, no. Else? There's another card. I'm not uh, sure. Ignore me then. Carry on. <laughs> I'm not sure on Shurit. Um, in all honesty, maybe that's my ignorance, not paying attention to the OCG. But I mean, in the TCG, Necros now. When do you see them top, or when do you see them make like top 32s and stuff? It said it just doesn't happen. So I think you could definitely bring it back to one. Yeah, you know, see how it and works. See how it so goes. I'd, Probably try to maybe give Necros a run. We threw it back a one. I got some variety. I'd quite like to see Konami kind of go. Hey, maybe you should try this. Let's see how it goes, and then they go. Oh wait, no, that doesn't work. Let's just let's take it badly. Well, let's make it badly again, kind of thing. Well, it was the same with Strauss, wasn't it? Everyone said it could never come back too powerful, and then it got to a point where people were like, you know, Konami, what are you doing? Like yeah. this card could come back to three, and nothing would change. It's come back to one, and yeah, heroes have seen more play, but yeah, they don't that's do much right now, now, do they? Yeah. So you could definitely bring Shurit back to one. See how it goes. All right, so next we are looking at True King, Lithus Agent, The Disaster. So this might be like a, <laughs> one of those controversial picks. There's a few of these. Because, you know, it hits the extra deck. Um, 
I definitely say bring it to one because obviously the three loop in itself it would be horrific. More ratios to draw it and get its effect off, but uh, the problem is you've got a lot of FTK decks going around. Yeah. Firewall is a big problem, and it's not going to get banned. And it's not going to get banned. Um, it said th this is where it would be controversial because if you put it at one, yes, you have to rely on drawing it and getting its effect off to, to get the maximum value, but. And if you were, say, playing against FTK decks and you banish, say, Firewall or key combo pieces that they need in the extra deck, then their deck can't play. But isn't that kind of the point? It's just like we don't want FTKs in the format. You need something that can sort of counter them. Um, so I said it might be one of those personal picks. I'm just like, nope, has to come back. <clears throat> I'm sick of this. But I'd say bring it back to one and see how it impacts, um, impacts the game, the meta, because you've also got dinos as well that used it as well but dinos don't really do much right now anyway no. so i think lithosagen would be i don't know how it would work but i said bring it back to one and see how it goes i think it could sort of impact it sort of slightly and slow these ftks down as well right well on to the next one which again could be another controversial one shadol construct now see the thing with shadols if you look at them now I mean, El Shadol Winder is a good card, but it can't make the deck run alone. No. Shadols have lost their main boss card. And yeah, back when, you know, Shadols were big, Construct was an extremely powerful card, and in some cases it still is in today's game, but Shadols are very, very slow, and it's quite a bricky deck in all honesty. I've used them before. Giving them something like Construct back will help the deck sort of play better, but... I believe Construct is, this is the card I think you were mentioning, yeah, Construct was, is at yeah. 3 in the OCG and Shadol doing nothing. do nothing. So I said, for the sake of bringing back, you know, those old school Shadol players, it says, just give them Construct back, it's <laughs> not It's not going to do give much. Give them a chance. Give them a chance, yeah. This this one I'm quite surprised by, I didn't think anyone would ever choose any of these, but there we go. Zodiac, Zodiac, oh my god, I can't even say it, Zodiac Dryden't. The reason I choose this is because it is the best, I think feel the best Zodiac extra deck monster. I mean you have Broad Ball, which as well started all their sort of combos. But that's still Everyone, banned, you'd have that banned still. I, I, yeah, I'd still keep it banned and I mean I'd probably say if I could fit it in you could bring back Barrage as well, but for the sake of the video I'd just say Zodiac Dryden could come back to one. I mean Zodiac will do absolutely nothing with <clears throat> Zodiac Dryden back at one, but it gives them some form Option. of boss monster to play because their archetype is extremely weak right now. They can't do anything. And just in relation to it, you said you'd have Rapier go up to two. I'd say so be put semi limited Rapier to two because Rapier at one is pointless. It makes its effect obviously non viable. So you might as well say give them two, give them Dryden. You still got Barrage and Broadball Band, which were two extremely powerful combo pieces. And said it'd bring back those classic. Uh, Zodiac players, and it might bring some sort of variety to the format again, but not that it would do anything in all honesty. Fair enough. Now this one could be interesting, because the way you've got this, this could be very interesting. Max C, but just completely just, just unmanned, Unlim unlimited. unlimited. Yeah, because I know Max C was seen as an unfair card, and the reason I would say three is because when it was limited, it was an extremely sacky card. So if you drew this card, if you were the player who drew this card going second and you had that one copy, that is a mega advantage yeah. of your opponent. Because basically whoever drew Max C had a better chance of winning the game. If you put it at three, it's an equal chance for both players to draw it and it gives you a better chance going second because this is a, if you think this is a dice roll format, if you go first, you're probably gonna win. And I know Max C might not stop the FTKs, but obviously, if you've it got other help. decks that are overextending, you know, building these big boards, it gives you something that you lay down the max C challenge. Yeah. Do you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Go for it. I'll draw. It's better challenge yeah. than the Pepsi challenge. Maybe. The Pepsi challenge. <laughs> Could you taste the difference? <laughs> um, right. So now we're onto this spell one, and yeah, I'm not sure on this one at all. But that grass looks greener. Did yeah? I'd say for one format, bring it back. Not unlimited, definitely limited still. Grass Looks Greener gave, you know, decks like Light Sworn Engine decks, it gave Paleo Frogs and um, Infernoids. 
it made them very powerful and it did speed up a lot of their combos by yeah. ditching half their stuff to the grave but if you put it up one and people still play 60 card decks you have to rely on drawing that one copy don't you in this which would be hard to do which would be hard to do and you could look at it like maxi at one if you draw it it's an extremely you know sort of sacky card gives you a good advantage but I, I just don't see it making a massive meta changing impact if you bring it back to one three yeah definitely yeah. one nah i would say it could come back to to one and then if we were wrong ban it again kind of thing but at least it would bring variety back to the format in all honesty this, this is true okay well onto the other spell card of which there were only two in this yeah uh harpy's feather duster yeah Th this card extremely broken when you look at like 10 years ago yeah how many decks these days run full back row I mean Altergeist run a lot of my, uh, trap cards but you know now you run a couple the, what people run these days is hand traps they don't yep. run trap cards so those, those days are gone pretty much so Happy's Feather Duster could definitely come back because the way I look at it it's a balancing issue you have Raigeki at one why can't we have Happy's Feather Duster at one I was thinking between this, Giant True Nade, and Heavy Storm, but then I was like, you know, Harpy's Feather Duster, straight up, it does give you a lot of advantage if it goes off, if you're playing against the right deck, but really, what would it do? <laughs> does anyone run back row? Do you run back row? Only a few things. A few things. Yeah, I don't run back row. A lot of decks these days don't run back row. They can definitely get back to it. I mean, traps are definitely slow in the current climate, yeah. to say the least, so it's a bit... Yeah, it's it's it, you don't use them. I admit that. So it could be useful in that sense, because uh, any anyway, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not sure I agree with you, but but I can see why you've chosen that. And this one, I'm standing very far away from. <laughs> this this is all you, buddy. Personal uh, choice. I'll, I'll let you introduce it. So you might be surprised, but I'm actually picking Yatagarasu to come off the ban list. So I might get a lot of hate for this, yes. but. The original Yatagarasu lock was with Chaos Emperor Dragon, you know, where you blow up the board with Sangha and you'd search Yatagarasu, summon it, and win the game from there. But with Chaos Emperor possibly coming back with his errata, that's not going to be possible anymore. But also, I mean, you'd have to waste your normal summon on this guy, or obviously special. Actually, can he be special summon? Ah, uh, there's Kaga Lobby special summon. No, there we go. Can he be special summon? You have to waste your normal summon on this guy. And, you know, in a format where the game is ridiculously fast. I mean, really. It, yeah. Yatagrasu, I mean, if you got it off. A lot, of car a lot of decks these days gain so much advantage off one or two cards. To really get any value from Yatagarasu, you'd have to clear out their hand. And if their hand is cleared out, they've more than likely got a big advantage on you anyway, kind That's of thing. Fair, yeah. So I kind of think, if you bring it back to one, if it goes off and you play around it, and you manage to get them in that lock, then that's good, and you will probably win the game. But it's a lot harder to pull off now than it would have been yeah, 10 years true. ago or so. That, that's probably one of my personal reasons. It was, it was either that or Pot of Green, and then I was like, yeah, no, Pot of no, Green's really. a favorite <laughs> card. Like, everyone wants Pot of Green back, but no, I chose Yatagrasu because I think it could come back. Well, there we are then. That is 10 cards we, in inverted commas, feel could uh, be removed from the ban list in some form or other. What did you think? Do you agree? Probably not. Uh, <laughs> it's good to create debate though. Exactly. Like, what, what would what, you guys top 10 Exactly. What or? would you want to see? Put them down in the comments below. We'll be interested to see and perhaps we'll make our, another top 10 list out of what people recommend. That'd be fun. Mm -hmm. Do a little commentators video. Um, but yes, if you haven't done so already, please do like and subscribe to our channel so we can find more videos for you guys. But until then, this goodbye from me. And peace out from me, guys. See ya.